Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Smash Brush. So today I will be doing a review slash tutorial on what I am wearing here today. <laughs> and it is the all new Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette along with their loose glitters. This one is in the color So Hollywood. So I'm like super, super excited to be telling you guys all about this palette, how it applies, how I created this look. I feel like in general, Anastasia tends to like not disappoint, but you will find out at the end of this video. So if this is a video that you're interested in, then just keep watching and without further ado, let's get to it. So this is me with my bare face. Don't look at it, it's about to go zero to 100 real quick, even though it's not gonna be quick at all. <laughs> so I just did my brows and I'm just gonna go straight to doing my shadow. The reason why I don't have anything on here is because I purchased, besides um, purchasing the palette, I also purchased the Anastasia So Hollywood Loose Glitter. And honestly, when it comes to like doing my face, I like to put on my highlight like when my foundation is still pretty fresh. I don't know, that's just like a weird thing with me, so. That's why I'm gonna do my eyes first and foundation off camera and all of that. I am super excited to be trying out this palette because I feel like lately the palettes that I've been buying besides like the James Charles palette has been pretty like neutral tones and I love neutral tones however I really do like to play around with colors so this is what the palette looks like it looks so like pretty and colorful they have never done these bright pretty colorful kind of colors. I think the last palette that they did that was kind of colorful was like their subculture palette, but honestly, I never really tried that palette. So yeah, let's just go ahead and dive into it. To be honest, I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing on my eyes. I'm just gonna go with the flow and see how this is gonna look like. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes really quick. Okay, so my eye is nice and primed, and honestly, I really don't know what kind of look I wanna go for just because there's just like so much going on here. I feel like I want to use every single color, but I know I can't. So I think I'm going to definitely be using this color right here called Bahamas because when you look at this palette, this color is like screaming at you like, use me. <laughs> and I really didn't want to use it just because I feel like I've been doing a lot of pinks lately. But I am, uh, honestly, I'm still going to use it and I'm going to be applying just a little bit in the crease area. And this is really just going to be a color that kind of like peeks out a little bit, like, like that little slight tint of pink there. So I'm applying it right above, very, very close to like my brow bone area because regardless, this color is just gonna kind of fade away. Okay. So this is what the pink looks like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and now grab this color called, I have no idea how to say this, Canis, Canes? I don't know, there's that double N and it's throwing me off here, so. <laughs> I'm grabbing the same exact uh, fluffy brush. I am using, by the way, a Morphe R40 brush, so it's just like, I feel like it's just a standard um, blending brush. And I'm kind of gonna go over it, but I'm gonna make sure that the pink is still showing just like a slight bit in there. And I'm buffing out this color just a little bit here, just because you already know I'm gonna be doing like a cut crease to wing liner type of look. Okay, so now I am going to be grabbing another blending brush. I'm going back to that color Bahamas because I know I said I didn't want it to show, but I didn't want it to not show this much. <laughs> so I'm literally just going right over, kind of like where the purple ends, and I am just buffing that color right in between that and where the pink originally is. Oh, I love how that blend looks like. Okay, so I think I went a little ham on the pink, but it's just because it looks so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with this color called Palm. It's a brown color. I honestly don't know how I feel about that color in this palette just because everything else is so like colorful. 
or just like I don't know just like more alive and I feel like that's the only color that's kind of like meh, like down <laughs> I mean it's the only really dark color though so I'm going to use a much smaller blending brush and I'm going to be using this color just like right around this area right here just to create like a really nice smoky effect and I'm not gonna bring it too high up because I don't know how like my lid is gonna look like yet so this is just like a little teaser to what it's gonna look like now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease so I will be right back okay so my crease has been cut and I'm gonna go ahead and use two different colors one of them is called inheritance which is that very pretty princess bell kind of a uh, yellow shimmery type of tone so I'm gonna be using my finger and really applying Ooh, this is like very creamy almost I feel because my finger <gasps> whoa I'm like cutting myself off but it's like this is yellow. So I just like to apply shimmery colors like with my finger first and then I'll like use a brush to like really kind of detail out. But it's just because I feel like it really grabs a lot of pigment when you use shimmers with your finger rather than with a brush. But regardless, I'm gonna go in back with a brush just to like really outline that area here. Oh, that's so pretty. I can only imagine how this is gonna look like once I have like my lashes and my liner and all of that. And basically this half right here, I'm gonna be using that color Mediterranean because it is so pretty. It's like a really nice blue. And I'm going to be doing like the other half of my lid just like that. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm gonna make sure it's like nice and blended. What I'm gonna do for fun, because I feel like it's like yellow and then bam blue, which I still think has a nice um, like fade effect to it. But I'm gonna grab this color called, I have no idea how to say this either. Say, say chels, say chels. I don't know, but I'm grabbing just like a tiny bit, using it on my finger and then putting it right in between both of the colors just to like see if it gives a little bit more of like that gradual faded effect. I will say this, like these colors are like super, super pigmented. I literally just use a little bit and this is already grabbing a lot of color, like Jesus. And now grabbing that fluffy brush that I used to use the purple, I'm gonna just put a tiny bit in there. I literally just went like, like boop. <laughs> and I am going to blend the edges here just to make everything look very cohesive and just like very blended together. And now going in with that brown color one more time within my very skinny brush, um, the color's called Palm. I am just now gonna intensify just like this outer area, just a little bit more, and connect it like right down here. So kind of like a nice small V. Pretty. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm gonna do to this eye is I have to go ahead and use a highlight color to like highlight my brow bone. The only color that I see is this color sales here. This is like a matte white color. Let's see how this looks like. I like that. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of that color again sales and just apply it right here in the very inner corner just to kind of like make the color relevant in this mix guys this is really white and that's that i don't really have anything like here but this is like a pretty bright white compared to like other matte whites i feel like doing a really good matte white like i have yet to experience like a white where i'm like ooh, i really like that white you know because it's it's a basic color but i feel like not that many palettes use it i like that it's just like oh <laughs> um, yeah, so this is basically my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this eye now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation, put on some lashes and liner, because this video is basically gonna be more about like how to apply the eyeshadow, what my thoughts are. So when I come back, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the under eye part of my eye together with you, as well as try out that highlight. So that's how I wanna have everything nice and done for you guys. So I'll be right back. Bam! <laughs> what a huge difference it makes, right, to like have 
foundation and contour and just everything up. This is the magic of makeup, guys. I just need to finish the bottom part of my eye because it's pretty bare. And then I want to try out the highlighter, which I'm like really excited about. So I'm going to grab this color right here called Coastline. It's a little bit like a pinky, peachy kind of color. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this right underneath here. Okay, so that's how the peach looks like. I need to add more color for sure. I'm gonna be using like this flat brush and I think I need to bring that purple in there just to bring in the color because I feel like it's a little bit light. Using that flat brush, I'm just tapping off any of the excess there. That way I don't have like too much fallout. I'm just gonna like tight line it over here. And then using like this blending brush, but it's a lot smaller and like fluffy. I'm literally just gonna kind of go over this. That way that purple doesn't look like too like harsh. Okay, and then I just have to add some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Okay, yay, my eyes are done. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually really like the way this looks like. I'm just really curious to see like how the highlight's gonna come out. So the color that I picked was called So Hollywood. And this packaging is like so pretty. It looks exactly like the Dip Brow, just like a blown up version of it. And it has like a really nice glittery look. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like right there. This has like a glitter packaging on top and it's not like, you don't feel the glitter, it's like hard plastic. The only thing I will say is that I wish they had a little bit more of a pink color. So they have three different colors. There was one that was like a whitish type of tone. There was another one that was gold and then like a deeper gold. Personally, I tend to not like gold highlight on me. A lot of times when people are more like on the tan side, they do like to put gold, but for some reason I just like more of like that pinky whitish type of tone I poured some in here and I'm using my Jeffree Star brush I want to like wet the brush but I want to see how it looks like without wetting it first now I want to see how it looks like when it's wet I'm going to be wetting my brush for the other side I'm scared this is gonna go on like really like BAM on my cheek so I gotta fix this before like I mess myself up. Oh my gosh. So I like the way it looks like when the brush is wet just because it doesn't look like as flaky as it does on this side. Um, so with the remaining of here, I'm just gonna grab a little bit, put a little bit on my nose right here and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Okay, so this is basically the completed look. The last thing I'm gonna do is just like spray myself just to really kind of like set everything together. So let's go ahead and talk about each product now. First and foremost, I'm gonna say that I love the way this look came out. This is something completely different, I feel, than what I've done in the past. Yes, I've used like pink and purples before, but like using this like gold yellow metallic kind of color along with these blues is what really kind of like makes it very different so i will say that the palette in general the pigment and everything oh my gosh it is so mind-blowing even though i'm not gonna lie i feel like when you think of anastasia like you're expecting great pigment and it definitely delivered great pigment so i have no complaints with that i will say though there is a little bit more of a fallout i kind of expect fallout with eyeshadows anyways but if you are one that likes to do their foundation first and then their eyeshadow afterwards then I would definitely be careful um, with the fallout honestly like I can definitely see myself using this palette but that's me personally I think that like for like an average consumer I'm not sure if they're gonna like this palette only because there's a lot of like wild bright colors and sometimes that tends to intimidate people if you are one that is looking into buying this palette I would totally recommend it just because it is something a little bit different you know I feel like there's so many neutral colors out there that having something like this in whether it's your collection or like your kit is something nice to have and I also love the packaging I am so happy that Anastasia kind of got away from like the whole suede like packaging because I used to hate like how dirty it gets yeah I'm excited to continue using this palette okay and now as far as the loose glitters if there was any kind of improvement that I wish they could do was to add more of like that pinker tone like kind of like in between because I feel like the golds are a little bit harsh and that's that this is the lighter gold personally I'm not too much of a fan on this not because I think it's like 
bad, but I just feel like I'm more into like that shimmery kind of highlight. This looks a little bit more like glitter, like it's a little chunky, if that makes sense. I personally wouldn't use it as a highlight. I would actually use this as an eyeshadow. As far as like the formulation goes and everything, I think it applied really beautifully. I would recommend it wet rather than dry, just because dry, I feel like it just didn't sit that pretty. And that is coming from someone who is a little bit more on the dry side, so just keep that in mind. I'm upset that I didn't get a chance to get the dewy mist, but that was only because I called a couple of Sephora's and they didn't have it. And I'm not exactly a fan of online ordering, but um, yeah, that is basically it guys so thank you guys so so much for watching this video today if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell and also don't forget to follow me on instagram it is at smashbrush underscore at the very end and that is basically it guys once again thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye